Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than eight years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my Thursday Tips blog, my DVDs, books, virtual learning, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feels like you're missing out on all the fun, you can easily join our wonderful world of guitar with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day program, which you can also find at marlenesmusic.com. Now on to today's tip. Today's tip is the best types of wood for acoustic guitars. Acoustic guitars are built for both sound and durability, and only certain tree species are suited for acoustic guitar purposes. Those species are called tone woods. Tone woods are the type of woods with the consistent acoustic qualities needed for stringed instruments. In this episode, I'll talk about tree classifications and species, as well as the recommended tone woods for acoustic guitar construction. This podcast episode is sponsored by Podbean. Podbean is the easiest way to create your own podcast. We use Podbean to host Tips for Guitar Playing Success. Download the free Podbean app to start, record, and publish your very own podcast in minutes. Podbean provides everything you need to run your podcast and record and publish episodes directly from the app on your phone. Download the free Podbean app today. That's P-O-D-B-E-A-N. Head on over to Podbean at www.podbean.com and use the code podcast21 for your first 30 days of podcast hosting for free. Check it out. Did you know that there are more than 60,000 tree species in the world, but only a few have the properties necessary to make a quality guitar? I'm going to get a little nerdy here and share the basic scientific facts about trees. All trees are classified in two categories, evergreen and deciduous. The main difference between the two are that evergreen trees keep their leaves all year. Deciduous trees shed their leaves seasonally. In terms of how these two classifications affect wood, Evergreen trees are considered softwood because they are fast growing. Deciduous trees are considered hardwood because their growth slows as the leaves shed and the wood becomes more dense. Evergreen or softwood trees include spruce and cedar. Deciduous or hardwood trees include mahogany and rosewood, to name a few. So let's go a little deeper into the woods. There are specific woods that are considered best for different parts of an acoustic guitar. And it's quite common to find a guitar with a combination of woods, like one species for the top and a different species for the sides and back. Starting with the top, or it's also called the soundboard, This piece is considered one of the most important because it projects the sound from the body. Generally, hardwoods are not suitable for this purpose as they are too dense and inflexible, resulting in a dull sound. Softwoods are ideal because they are flexible and still strong enough to withstand tension. The most common softwoods used for the top or soundboard are spruce and cedar. Quick show break. Join the podcast club today. It's simple. Just click the Join the Club link in the show notes and become a member. You'll receive cool member rewards. So join today at the Join the Club link. Before the break, I talked about the soundboard woods, 
with the best being the softwood species. In contrast, the sides and back, which provides stability for the sound, needs to be a strong, dense wood, like mahogany, koa, maple, and rosewood. So a common acoustic guitar tone wood combination is a spruce top and rosewood sides and back. As far as the neck is concerned, hardwood is necessary because it needs to withstand the tension created by the strings and playing. The woods used for neck construction are typically rosewood or mahogany. For the fretboard, which is the top of the neck, it's usually ebony or rosewood. The bridge also needs to be a hardwood to withstand the tension and vibration of the strings. Rosewood and ebony are common bridge woods. By the way, if you'd like to hear how various tone wood combinations sound, go to my Thursday Tips blog at Marlene's Music for a video demonstration link. Now, if I could, I'd like to say that it's good to understand acoustic guitar wood. Hey everyone, if you liked this podcast, please be sure to subscribe and follow the podcast. Also, I'd love to hear from you. If you have any ideas or requests for future podcast episodes, you can leave that in the comment section. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, check out the many learning resources available at my website, marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on.